Here we have a vintage Technofix number 307 Coney Island. As you can see, it is in the original box, which has seen better days, but it's here. All the panels are here. Most of the corners have been busted. Here's the last panel here. And you can see the directions are on this panel there. Very simple. Beautiful toy from 1964. This is the second of four releases from Technofix in calendar year 1964. The colors of this particular unit are extremely vibrant. The track has no cracks, no damage at all. Let's clean it up a little bit. And you have both original cards with both original keys. I'll wrap these better when I uh, ship it off. They'll be in bubble wrap. Here's Technofix key one, key two. Here are your two trolleys. You can see one is red top, one is blue top. This way you know which is which. But first, let's look at the track briefly. As you can see, it's made out of a, what we call today would be an injection molded, but it's really not again back. In the 60s and 70s, what they did was they printed a flat sheet of plastic and then they had a male and female die, stamped them under pressure and heat, and this is the end result. A lot of times you get sections of these corners where a lot of the printed copy was elongated due to the processing or the manufacturing processing, but this one have a really good example. You can see no cracks in the corners, no stress cracks, no pressure cracks at all. And these tracks are notorious for getting cracks in one spot in particular. I know because I've had a, I, I have two downstairs, which I won't sell, because these centers in here, the bottom almost literally pops right out. They wear out from the inside because that's what touches the ground. You can see this one has nipples on it, which is nice. But most of the time, these wear out. They get a little impression, and they just bust right off. This one is still 100% attached. Uh, you have no fear of that going anywhere. This is a beautiful shape. You can see the track. It's clean. It's white. It's good to go. And you do have a metal section here, which is the up rail. Let me turn it around. You have another metal section on this side, which is the Coney Island building. And there you have it. It's a beautiful shape. Now we have the two original cars with the original keys as noted. Let's wind them up. And put it down. These both have a clutch mechanism. I don't know if you can see it, it drops down. That is vital for the operation of these trolleys on these tracks, at least this style track. You can see how it's perforated in sections, specifically on the inclines. All the inclines are perforated, but on the declines going downhill, there are not. That's because the clutch mechanism hits these grooves and it's activated and it climbs up them automatically. When it reaches the top, it shuts off. What that does is it saves spring life. You get longevity out of these trolleys, whereas if the clockwork ran around the entire thing, you'd be lucky to get two laps out of it. As it is now, you get a good seven, or maybe even more. And I don't wind these all the way, keep that in mind, because I don't want to overwind them. So wind one up, I'm gonna wind them both up, then I'm gonna put them on the track, according to the arrow on the track. You can see here's the arrow, so the trolleys go that way. The arrow on the top, not rocket science here, just put it, push a little go. And you can see they both wear out or wind down at the almost the exact same time, which is a really good sign showing that there's a lot of equality in both of the trolleys. And I thank you for your time and considerations. Have a good day.